nations, he proposed a global system of wireless communications. When wireless is fully applied, the Earth will be converted into a huge brain, capable of response in every one of its parts. It tells us about a vision he had for both power and communications, that he wasn't going to think small. He was going to think globally on this. Uh, and that's all very nice uh, if it works. The idea of a global communications network was very appealing to one of the world's most powerful men, J. Pierpont Morgan. He agreed to invest $150,000 into Tesla's worldwide radio broadcast center. But the inventor's real plan was to transmit without wires industrial levels of electrical power. Tesla chose to keep this a secret from his investor. In the summer of 1900, Tesla moved to Shoreham, Long Island and began construction of a huge tower and plant called Wardenclyffe. This tower of dreams was made entirely of large wood beams and rose 187 feet above the ground. The plant next to the tower was designed by the architect Stanford White and was constructed under strict secrecy. He certainly could have sent signals across the Atlantic with no trouble with a station of that magnitude. But he was still pursuing wireless power transmission. The tower would light up at night, shooting sparks, making noises, such experiments. They alarmed the whole area. Then, on December 8, 1901, Marconi took another step forward and transmitted his famous letter S across the Atlantic. Tesla dismissed the Italians' advances. Marconi is a good fellow. Let him continue. He is using 17 of my patents. The simple fact about Marconi is that he used Tesla's system to transmit signals and claimed that these were ideas that he had developed himself. Morgan began to doubt the wisdom of his investment. Marconi's system not only worked, it was also inexpensive. And technical problems were beginning to catch up with Tesla. He went back to Morgan again, asked for more money. Morgan says, where's the radio transmissions across the Atlantic? How's that coming along? Well, it wasn't coming along. Tesla was forced to tell Morgan his real plan. What I contemplate and what I can certainly accomplish, Mr. Morgan, is not a simple transmission of messages, but rather the worldwide transmission of electrical power. A single plant of but 100 horsepower can operate hundreds of millions of instruments. But Morgan was a practical businessman and had already decided to back Marconi. I have received your letter and in reply would say that I should not feel disposed at present to make any further advances. J. Pierpont Morgan. Word spread rapidly that the investor had pulled out of Wardenclyffe and Tesla was financially ruined. 